Welcome to Grow Dinner Aquaponics. Welcome to our backyard aquaponics system. We're out here in front of our greenhouse with an outdoor pond and a couple of grow beds. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to introduce freshwater prawns into your aquaponics system and how to separate those from your tilapia so they can live in the same pond and be effective. It's not like you're going to harvest a lot of freshwater prawns from the system, but the thing you will get from the prawns is you will actually get a better running system because they like to live and feed off the bottom of your system so it just makes a much better cycle. Okay, this is a 4x8 pond. It's about 4 feet deep. We have tilapia in here on both sides. I like to keep a petition in between my tilapia and I keep the bigger fish on one side and the smaller fish on another side. I kind of feel like that helps their growth but not only that, it helps me harvest these fish a little easier so I don't have to chase them around the pond. Now what we've got is we've got freshwater prawns down inside of here that are actually living below our tilapia. Now we're not going to harvest a lot of freshwater prawns out of this system because it's such a small aquaponic system. But they're very beneficial to the system because what they do is they live underneath the tilapia and actually eat the waste and the food that's dropped onto the floor of the pond. So what, in return, what that will do is give you a cleaner running system, and it's very beneficial. We try to run everything in our system here from growing our own food to uh, growing our tilapia, growing some freshwater prawns and some crawfish, and of course all the vegetables that we grow in our aquaponic system. We try to keep a good cycle going. So what I want to do is I want to show you how we made this. Uh, lower screen because we don't want to let the tilapia down inside of our our prawn area because as the old saying goes you want to keep the fox out of the hen house. Um, the tilapia do kind of bother the prawns some when they're small so we have a petition between the two and it'll actually allow the food to drop down in there and still get to the prawns so that they're not hungry plus as I said earlier they will clean up the bottom of the pond. This petition does come out, it's just a PVC, and then down below we have layers of what we call our prone house. And the purpose in this is when prones get ready to molt and lose their shells as they're growing, they actually become very vulnerable to each other, and prones are, uh, prones are pretty uh, cannibalistic to each other, so when they molt off and lose their shells, they will actually attack and eat, to, eat each other, so we don't want to allow the... Uh, the prongs to fight, and at the same time, we don't want to let the tilapia get down into our prongs. So let me show you what we do to prevent some of this, to protect them. And remember, prongs actually use up a lot of footage inside your pond. Uh, they like to have about two square feet for an adult prong to live. So I want to show you how we increase our square footage for the prongs to live and to molt and to uh, kind of become territorial without killing each other, and how we keep our tilapia uh, from getting to our prongs. So let me show you how we put that together. Okay, here we are in our little molting trays that we've made here for our prongs. This is basically where they'll hide out and live and molt and, and eat the fish droppings and food that falls through. This is a three-quarter inch PVC frame. And basically we've wrapped this in quarter inch bird netting. And it's quarter inch is about the right size. It's small enough to keep the fish from bothering the, the prongs. But at the same time, it's big enough to let the food fall down for the prongs to eat as it will go down through the layers because they will crawl in between all these layers and kind of just make themselves a house in there. And that will be home to them for a while. Now this is not 100% complete. There will be another one on top of here it will go on this and it will be the exact size of the pond so that it will separate the fish from the prawns. Keep the fish from going down here and messing with the prawns and the prawns from messing with the fish. So let me get this laid down to the pond and let's go from there and kind of show you how it all fits together. Now these are some very large tilapia here and as you can see there is a screen mesh down in there. This is called a uh, quarter inch mesh. It's the same thing we used in the lower part. It's actually bird netting. You want to get the animal safe bird netting and that's basically what we've used is that and some PVC pipe to lay in the bottom. 
let me take you around to the other side of the pond and show you how we did our pump system. Okay, we want our pump system to still reach all the way into the bottom of our pond so that it can actually get a good water circulation. So what we did was we actually kind of put a little cocoon area in our bottom screen so that the pump could sit down in there and still access the bottom so that all these little tilapia can't swim in and get to our freshwater prawns. Now I want to take you for a view down in the water and let you see what's really going on with our freshwater prawns. Remember, freshwater prawns are a lot like tilapia. They like to be released in early spring and harvested in late fall in an outdoor environment or year-round in the greenhouse. We like to run a full circle here at Grow Dinner Aquaponics. We like to grow our own food. We like to grow our tilapia, some freshwater prawns, and some crawfish. And all this really keeps a good, clean cycle going. Remember, these little small systems are not going to harvest you a lot of prawns because prawns like a lot of square footage in the bottom of a pond or in the bottom of a tank. 
But what they will do is they will clean up your system because they will eat all that leftover debris that falls down to the bottom of your pond, whether it's leftover food, waste, what have you. And then they will process it even more, which will make your beds run so much smoother. The whole aquaponic system will actually run smoother. I hope it works as good for you as it does for us. And I hope you're able to feed your family and be more independent. Thanks for joining Grow Dinner Aquaponics here in our backyard. And you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and our website, Google+. You can find us by Grow Dinner Aquaponics. Keep in touch with us. If you've got questions, you can send us a message, and we will try to answer your questions the best we can, or you can post them down to the lower part of the video. And thanks again for joining Grow Dinner Aquaponics and my backyard aquaponics system.